An anaconda mother is giving birth to live babies because anacondas are among the 30% of snake species that do not lay eggs. These 40 babies, about a third of her body weight, are saying hello to the wilds of Venezuela. The mother also expels about a dozen orange spheroids. These are eggs that never developed into babies. Although anacondas are the largest snakes in the world, this trim-down mother hasn't eaten in several months. You'll have to excuse her if she dines on some of the eggs. She's got to eat something so she'll be strong enough to go out and hunt again. Some of her babies are stillborn. She'll also eat those. Of course, with 40 babies, sometimes you might accidentally taste a live one. Ha, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Once they're out of mom's body, the babies are on their own. The first of the babies slithers off. The baby goes after its first meal. But when you're this young, you tend to look like a meal to other predators, like these piranha, for example. At least the anaconda has stealth and pretty good camouflage on its side. The baby makes its way through the water hyacinth. Ah, but then stealth fails, and the baby blunders into the open. It's a sad tale. Well, come on. I mean, they are piranha. Another baby races off to safety. Or not. Like most cats, ocelots don't care for water that much. But since these anacondas, aka water boas, prefer to be in water more than any other type of boa, even staying submerged for 10 minutes at a time, the ocelot has to adapt. Giant otters and caimans also prey on the baby snakes. The full-grown anaconda is one of the world's most powerful predators and grows up to dine on these same animals that hunted it when it was young. 